Question 13, part A. Express 0 0.248 recurring as a fraction. So x equals 0 0.248 recurring equals 0 0.24888 forever. Now I like drawing it out in this uh, longhand way just to see that the 8s keep going and it's quite useful for the method I'm about to show you. So what we want to do is move this decimal place to the first point where the number starts recurring. And we can see that's here because to the right of the decimal point will just be 8 forever. So we need to move the decimal point two places to the right. We do that by multiplying both sides by 100. So we have 100x equals 1, 2, 24.888 forevermore. Now what we want to do is take away x from both sides. So take away x equals minus 0, sorry just make this a little bit clearer. So we're taking away x. So that's 0 0.2488 forever which would give us 99x on the left hand side and it would give us 24.8 take away 2 is 6 8 take away 4 is 4 and 8 take away 8 is 0 there would be an 8 here, take away that is 0 so what we're left with is actually just 24.64 so to find x we divide by 99 both sides, so x equals 24.64 over 99. And this isn't the right way to write a fraction, it's sort of not complete, it's improper, it just looks nasty, you can't have a decimal point with a fraction, it's just wrong. So we need to times by 100 both sides to get rid of this decimal point and to have a nice fraction with no weird decimals in it. So times by 100 both sides gives us 2464, or sorry, 2464 divided by 9900 or 9900. And that's the correct way to write a fraction. And x we said was just equal to 0 0.248 recurring. So that just shows that 0 0.248 recurring is equal to 24. Uh, 2,464 divided by 9,900. So there's our answer. So that's part A. Part B, evaluate this fraction 1 27th to the power of minus 2 thirds. So what I would like to do here is initially I like to think about what does this power actually mean. Well this, any power to the minus 1 or to a negative just means 1 over whatever we have down here. So that's 1 over 1 27th to the 2 thirds. Uh, we can take either parts of these inside the brackets. So we can say 1 over 1 27 to the 1 third, all squared. And a third just means whatever this is. Uh, cube, uh, not cube root, root 3, so 1 27th, yeah it's cube rooted, sorry. So 1 27th cube rooted, well 1 can be multiplied by itself however many times, you'll always have 1, and what number do you need to multiply by itself 3 times to get 27? Well it's 3, 3 times 3 is 9, Times uh, 3 times 9 is 27. So that is equal to one ninth squared. Sorry, one third squared. Getting ahead of myself. One third squared. One times one is just one. Three times three is nine. And now we have this weird looking fraction. The way I like to think of these is that the fraction gets a bit wobbly 
and it falls over or sort of collapses and this 9 goes on top. So then we have 9 over 1 which is just 9. Another way to think of this is this is just 1 divided by 1 ninth and you can remember that you can just change this to a multiply, multiplication sign as long as we turn this second part of the equation upside down and 1 times 9 is just 9. So there's our answer, it's 9. So that horrible thing just turns out to be 9. So that's question uh, 13, part B. Hope that's helped. If it has, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. That will really help the channel. Uh, if it's not helped or it's not been clear enough, please just leave a comment down below and I'll answer your question. Uh, but thank you very much for watching.